Yes, Japan is in a festive mood and it's taking an unprecedented 10-day holiday to prove it. The national holiday follows the beginning of the new Reiwa era as Emperor Naruhito became the 126th emperor on Wednesday following the abdication of his father, Akihito. But as Michio Ishida uncovered in a country not used to taking a break, not all are happy. Japan has not experienced such a long stretch of holidays before and is putting some on itch. This gentleman belongs to the old generation, the generation that helped make Japan a G7 nation where workers take the least paid leave, or one-third of the Germans. Many don't mind taking a break. That's despite travel fares being very expensive. According to Japan's largest travel agency, JTB, a record number of Japanese are traveling, or 662,000 overseas and 24 million within the country. But Japan Marketing Research says only half of those surveyed are happy with a 10-day golden week. Those in the service sector are working hard to make the best of this unprecedented long break to boost business. To mark the historic imperial succession, customers whose names carry one of the characters of Heisei or Reiwa can benefit. They stand a chance of winning a dried fig for a purchase of a whole Kabamir cheese at this shop, or a 300 yen discount for a purchase of any bag of snacks at this stall. Economists think the celebratory mood will give consumption a much needed boost. Consumption, at least in the first quarter, that is not good. So the, because the, the consumer sentiment have deteriorated uh, since latter half last year, the deteriorated demand will rebound uh, from this second quarter. Reva, Aaron, and also the uh, long holiday uh, will, uh, are the, uh, the device to uh, contribute to such uh, rebound in the sentiment. Of all merchandise, sales of bedding and towels may go up, as some customers want to start a fresh too in the new era. But the unusual long break has its downside. Traders are worried about volatile post-holiday market movements. There will be no trading on the Tokyo Stock Exchange for 10 days, while other major markets remain open. Many market participants are concerned that the uh, Japanese yen may appreciate during the, uh, this long holiday, as it, it did on January 3rd this year. So, therefore, the Japanese companies are, um, and investors have uh, been reluctant to sell yen uh, before the holiday. After the holiday by end of June, I, uh, we, Japan, JP Morgan uh, continues to expect that the deadline rate uh, to appreciate the 114 level. The reduction of businesses could also weigh down on sectors from financial to manufacturing and medical that in turn could put a dent to Japan's GDP. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.